Okay, continuing on, I'm going to select my action playlist, which contains all the songs from my action album. Now, to put this music onto a CD, iTunes makes it really easy. Go to the bottom right-hand side of iTunes, and you'll see a button that says Burn Disc. I'd like you to click on that button. Once you click on that button, a new window pops up. Now at the top of my window here, it says burn settings, and the first text says no supported disk burners found. Well, I'm actually running Windows on a Mac, which sounds complicated, and it, in some ways it is. Don't worry about that. That's why it says no supported disk burners found. You will not have this problem. Um, below it are your options. Preferred speed, I always select maximum possible. Disc format, I select audio CD, so it will play on any CD player. Uh, I can put it in, play it in my car, in a boombox, wherever. The gap between songs, two seconds, that's the default, and I just leave it at that. Once you're done with all that, click come to the bottom here, click burn, and it will ask you to insert a CD. Once you do that, it'll put all the music on the CD, and you'll be good to go. All right, so that's really all there is to burning a disc or creating a CD in iTunes. Now, I told you we'd tackle this uh, music bundle, so I think it's time to do it. I'm going to minimize my iTunes window. I'm going to go over to the music bundle, which, again, it's in zip format. We're going to do the same thing we did for the action album. We double-click it. We go to the left-hand side, and we select Extract All Files. This is the Extraction Wizard window. We click Next. Then for me, again, I want the files to be extracted to my desktop, so I click Browse. Then I click Desktop. Then I click OK. I come back and click Next. It shows it's extracting. This one's going to take longer because inside that uh, zipped folder there are three albums instead of just one. So the more stuff there is in the folder, the longer it's going to take to extract it. So, once it's done, I'm going to uncheck Show Extracted Files, and I'm going to click Finish. Then I'm going to close out this Music Bundle zip folder window. And again, I turn my attention to the left-hand side. I've got two folders, Mac OS X, OS X, and Music Bundle. Well, I'm not using the Mac OS X here, so I'm going to throw that away. And I'm left with the Music Bundle folder. I'm going to drag it over to the right-hand side. And I'm going to double click it to show you the contents. You see three folders, Action, which is an album, Parallel Inspiration, which is an album, No Rest, which is an album, and then you have what's basically a junk file that gets put in there during the compression process. The .ds store file, trash it. You don't need it and it won't hurt anything if you get rid of it. Okay, so that makes sense. I'm going to leave this window open, drag it to the right so I can still see Parallel Inspiration. Then I'm going to open up iTunes. I'm going to create a new playlist like we talked about before. Go to the bottom left-hand side and click on the plus sign. Type in the name of your new playlist. Mine's Parallel Inspiration. Click on the gray area below it. Then I go over to the right-hand side to this Parallel Inspiration folder. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to drag it right into iTunes here. So it's in the uh, empty area of iTunes. We got, I've got the little plus sign right by my cursor that lets me know that uh, iTunes is ready to accept this. So all I have to do now is let go of the mouse button and iTunes added all the songs from Parallel Inspiration into my Parallel Inspiration playlist. This is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Now I'm going to go back to my Music Bundle window. We still have an album left in there. It's called No Rest. I'm going to come back to the left-hand side. Uh, click the plus symbol. Type in No Rest. Oops, missed my capital there. Click on the gray area below it. Uh, this one I'm going to show you a different way, actually. So I want you to tune into the next video. I'll show you a different way to open this uh, folder and get the music files into iTunes. So check that out.